Hey guys, how's it going? I got a brand new lock here, um, made by Master Lock, and it's the combination style padlock. I just bought this yesterday. I haven't unlocked it yet. It's still sealed. The um, the number and the key to change a code are behind here, so I haven't actually gone into it yet. And this is the model 175D, so it's the it's the new one. They've improved it somewhat, um, but it's still vulnerable to the old way of getting into it, which I shall show you right now. Just get a sliver of metal, and this is from a hair clip. I'll show you how to make that in a second and just insert it down the side of one of the wheels here like I say the tolerances on this lock are improved but you'll see in a minute it's still rubbish just push in the shackle lift and there you go that's unlocked never even been out of its packet I'll show you how I made that. I just got some of the wife's hair clips. <laughs> She's missing quite a few hair clips lately. These are the ones that they're very thin uh, steel. I just bend that open like that. Get some sort of cutter and just snip this section off. And just open that piece up and there you go you got you've basically got two tools but I found that the tolerance of this uh, improved by master lock but obviously it's still rubbish so just cut it a bit thinner there you go like that and you've got the perfect tool for the job another quick look at this it's just slid in there, uh, angled slightly downwards. Take the pressure off by pushing the shackle in. Just push down on your new little lever. There you go. So there you go. Uh, these locks, contractors and builders are using them everywhere. They're they're too easy to get into. I know they're convenient, having the combination so nobody has to carry keys, but they are just too easy to get into. Um, I wouldn't use them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later, guys.